Hi, this is Ann with SVG Cut File, and today I'm going to show you how to save your Cricut project as a PDF file. And the reason you might want to do this is if you have kind of a crappy printer at home and you want to take it to a place that has a nice printer like a Kinko's or an Office Depot. Now I already made a version for Mac and um, that will be right up here at the top of your screen above if you have a Mac computer, but this version is for PC or Windows computers. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm just gonna go to Upload. Um, I'll get the image that I want to work with by hitting Upload again and then Browse. Okay, so here's the design I wanna work with. And I'm gonna make this about eight and a half inches or so. And this design is welded together. So we need to make this a print and cut. And to do that, I need to just add a little shape to it and then flatten it. So I'll come over here to shapes. You won't need to do this if you already have a print and cut um, design in here. I'm gonna change the color to my same color as the word beautiful here. And I'm gonna make this really small, just a tiny little dot. I'm gonna increase my size so I can see what I'm doing a little better. And then I'll just take this and overlap my other piece. So we have our square and our weld result. I'm gonna select both of those and I'll choose flatten. Now I have the option of a print and cut and that's what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to make it. And here is my design. Okay, and this is what I want to make a PDF of. I'm going to make sure my material size is eight and a half by 11 or whatever you need to make it and then continue. And now we'll go to send a printer. Now I have a few different printers here. I already have Quicken PDF printer right here. If I print with this PDF printer chosen, it will make a PDF instead of actually printing it. Then I can take that PDF, put it on a flash drive and take it to Kinko's or wherever. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off add bleed because we don't need that. And then I'll say print. Okay, now I'm getting an error code. So maybe this printer isn't set up. I'm just gonna say, okay. And then I'm gonna try that again. Now it says it was printed, but obviously it wasn't. So I'm gonna hit cancel. We'll cancel the cut and then I'm gonna try it again. But usually that would work. If you had the PDF printer set up in there, that should work for you. So we'll say continue. I'm gonna hit cancel again. We'll come back and make it again. I'll continue. And then I'm gonna choose send a printer again. This time I'm gonna try Microsoft print to PDF. I'll turn off my bleed and I'll use system dialog and then we'll go to print. And now I get the option of picking a place for this to download. So I'm gonna choose my desktop. Um, I'll call this beautiful and it's going to save as a PDF document and we'll save. Now I'll minimize and we'll see if it happened. Okay, and here's the PDF. Now I can connect a USB flash drive and you know, it would be somewhere like over here and then I could just click and drag that onto the USB flash drive. I don't have one connected right now, but that's how you would go about doing that. Then you could take the flash drive to you know, an Office Max, Kinko's or Office Depot. And that's it. If you're having trouble with this, you can download Acrobat Reader and install that and that comes with a PDF printer. So that is another option if you're having trouble with the PDF printers that are already installed on your system. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.